my friends story of the day bramble and maggie horse meets girl chapter 1 bramble chapter 2 maggie chapter 3 big snake chapter 4 good night chapter 1 bramble bramble gave riding lessons mrs blankensop told the rider what to do and the rider told bramble what to do they went around and around the riding ring with the other horses around and around around and around one day bramble started to walk more slowly she dragged her feet in the dust all the other horses passed her bump her with your legs said mrs blankensop make her speed up the rider bumped her with her legs bramble sped up all right she trotted past the other horses Whoa! said Mrs. Blankingsop. Bramble stopped. Take a deep breath, Mrs. Blankingsop told the rider. Now ask her to go forward. The rider asked. Bramble went backward, all the way around the ring. Oh boy! This is not a good lesson, said Mrs. Blankingsop. The next day, Bramble gave another lesson. She didn't do anything to scare this rider. She didn't do anything at all. I see, Mrs. Blankingsop said. You are bored, Bramble. Too much going around in the circles. But riding lessons are supposed to be boring for horses. Try to put up with it. The next day, another rider got on her. Bramble lay down. She closed her eyes and groaned. I get it. I get it, said Mrs. Blankingsop. No more riding lessons for you. You need a person for your own to have fun with. A person of her own, Bramble liked that idea, but not just any person. She would have to be picky. A family came to look at Bramble. She seems like a nice, safe horse, the mom said. We have a ring at home. Amy can ride her there. Ring was just what Bramble did not want. Amy got on Bramble's back. Bramble trotted around the ring, fast and faster, and even faster. She was careful. She did not let Amy fall, but she did not slow down until she was ready. <coughs> she has her little ways, Mrs. Blankingsop said. Amy's mother said she is not the horse for Amy. The next family wanted a jumper. Bramble has her little ways, Mrs. Blankingsop told them, but she loves jumping. That was not exactly true. Bramble could jump if she wanted to. She did not want to very often. The boy got on Bramble's back. Bramble walked to a jump. She pushed it over with her nose. Bramble is not the horse for me, the boy said. Chapter two. Maggie. Did you see that sign? Maggie asked. Yes, Mom said. I was hoping that you did. You always say horses cost too much, but this horse is for free. Dad said. Lots of lots of horses need good homes these days. He turned the car around. But you can't ride it today, Mom said. You don't have your helmet and boots. Yes, I do, Maggie said. I take them everywhere just in case. Mrs. Blankingsop said, "I'm thrilled that you want a look at Bramble. Come with me to meet her." Mom whispered, "Maybe this horse is free because there is something wrong with it." Don't fall in love too quickly, Maggie. That could be a problem, Dad said. Maggie is in love with all the horses. That was true, but Maggie had her big horse book with her. She took it everywhere too. Quickly, she opened it. Maggie, this is Bramble, Mrs. Blankingsop said. Bramble made Maggie. Uh oh, Maggie thought. When she looked at Bramble, she did not feel picky. She liked Bramble's color. She liked her eyes. She liked the way Bramble looked back at her. Bramble felt as picky as ever. Maggie seemed like a pleasant girl, but maybe there was something wrong with her. Maggie got into the saddle. She rode Bramble around the ring and around again. Bramble started to go faster, too fast. Sorry, Maggie said. My mistake. I didn't mean for you to go that fast. She tightened the reins, asking Bramble to go slower. Bramble went slower, so slow she almost stopped. Oops, Maggie said. I didn't mean that slow. She squeezed with her legs, asking Bramble to go faster. I am making a lot of mistakes, Maggie thought, but she is very nice about it. Bramble turned her head. She looked hard at Maggie. 
Then she went around the ring again. Not too fast, not too slow. Wow, Maggie said. I finally got it right. Bramble tossed her head and snorted. I mean, we got it right. Could I try her outside? Maggie asked Mrs. Blankingsop. I don't have a ring at home. Go ahead, said Mrs. Blankingsop. Maggie rode up and down the long drone driveway. Bramble put her ears forward. She had a bounce in her step. You like this better, don't you? Maggie said. Me too. Do you want to come live with me, Bramble? Bramble turned her head again. She looked at Maggie. Very gently, she bit the toe of Maggie's boot. Is that yes? Maggie asked. I hope it's yes. We will explore. I will show you the ocean, Bramble. I will take you take good care of you. I hope I don't make these many mistakes. Maggie got off. Bramble is the horse for me, she said. Remember, Mrs. Blankingsop said. She has a little ways. Don't fall in love with the first horse you see, Mom said. It says so right here. Maggie took the book. Bramble nudged it out of her hands. It fell open on the ground. The book read, Sometimes the first horse is the perfect horse. Chapter 3 Big Snake Maggie spent a week getting ready for Bramble. She fixed the garden shed into a stall. She hung up a net, filled it with hay. She hung up a bucket and filled it up with water. She made a deep bed of shavings. When Bramble came, Maggie put her in the new stall. I will leave you to get used to it, she said. This is what the book says. The stall was square and clean. Bramble was used to it in two seconds. She tasted the hay, perfectly acceptable. She tasted the water, sweet and clean. But outside, she saw blue sky. She smelled grass, green grass, juicy grass, delicious grass. Bramble wins. Maggie ran back. Are you used to your stall already? I will show you the yard. Maggie showed Bramble the lawn first. It was delicious. Now come see the backyard, Maggie said. She led Bramble around the house. Bramble saw a dark shape. She stopped. She stared. I know horses are differently from people, Maggie said. But a bush is a bush, no matter how you look at it. You are not afraid of a bush, Bramble sniffed. She tasted. Of course, she was not afraid of a bush. In the backyard, a strange animal was eating the lawn. It was taller than Bramble. It had long, thin legs. Bramble raised her head to see better. She lowered her head to see better. This is only a swing set, Maggie said. See, I'm not afraid. She slapped the swing. See, it sounded like metal. Bramble still did not know what a swing set was. But it was not an animal. It would probably not jump at her. Brave Bramble, Maggie said. Come on. Then Bramble saw it. A snake. A big snake. It stretched all the way across the yard. Bramble stopped. She snorted. She stamped her foot loudly. The snake did not move. It was not afraid. But Bramble was. Not Maggie. She picked it right up and said, See, it's just a horse. You are not afraid of a horse. Bramble wasn't afraid of a horse. She was afraid of a snake. But still, didn't go one step closer. Bramble, look, Maggie said. She squeezed the snake's head. It hissed. Water sprayed and made little rainbows. A horse. Bramble took a drink. Then she bit the horse. Just to remind it was not to turn back into a snake. Chapter 4 Good Night Maggie stayed with Bramble all day. She brushed Bramble and braided her mane. She leaned on the stall door and watched Bramble nap. When it got dark, Maggie went inside to eat supper. After supper, she came back to out to watch Bramble eat her supper. Before bedtime, Maggie gave Bramble more hay and kissed her on the nose. Good night, Bramble, Maggie said. See you in the morning. Maggie could not sleep. She lay in her bed wide awake. She thought, I have a horse. Then she thought, did I fill her water bucket? Yes. Did I fill her hay net? Yes. But it's her bed nice and comfortable. I hope so. I have a horse. Bramble could not sleep. She stood at her stall door wide awake. 
she was alone in the new place with no other horses with no maggie it did not make her feel sleepy the house lights went off it was quiet too quiet bramble knew what to do about that she turned around she kicked her door with both back feet bang she kicked it again bang bang lights went on in the house maggie came running bramble what's wrong maggie said nothing was wrong now bramble let maggie pat her she munched on some hay good night bramble maggie said she walked away bang 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 bramble maggie said what's wrong i you sick maggie looked through her book you are not kicking your belly you are not rolling you are eating then she read horses are herd animals they like to be with other horses maybe you are just lonely she thought maggie told bramble a story she sang her a st- now can you go to sleep maggie asked she turned to go bang bakati bang bramble just wait maggie said she ran to the house she got her sleeping bag she got her pillow she curled up outside bramble's door good night now bramble felt like sleeping she closed her eyes i have a horse maggie thought and she has me thank you bye bye